Hello and welcome, Matthew here with the first video of what will be a series of video preparing you for your R001 exam in May. Uh, you have about three weeks to prepare for your exam and uh, I thought it would be useful and helpful to start a, a series of uh, podcasts, if you will, uh, in this format to help you prepare for your exam. Today I'm going to start with the networks uh, and I'm going to link it uh, of course to the maze null gym scenario for your exam and uh, I hope you will find it useful. Uh, let's get started. Right, in terms of uh, where this will link to your case study, uh, uh, let's click on the right spot, uh, methods by which network may be created. I believe uh, that will be part of this, uh, the second sets of bullet point that you have on the second page of your case study preparation. Uh, I did uh, extract a, a portion of your case study as you, as you can see on your screen where uh, they're trying to explain that currently in the gym there is only standalone laptop. Uh, they are not connected to a network, there is no central storage and uh, the owner, as, uh, as they're explaining, the owner of the gym is concerned that the data is at risk and is considering different methods that it could be, that could be introduced to protect the data. One of the methods, of course, is to, uh, to set up a network and, and I think that's why they put the methods by which networks may be created in your preparation list. Right. So what is a network? How do you define what a network is? Essentially, it is a series of computers, uh, devices, any computer devices that are connected together for a specific purpose. The purpose is, of course, to communicate with each other, to share data and different resources, such as uh, in your school, in your classroom, you have uh, possibly a shared printer that... Uh, all of the computers in the classroom can send documents to that particular printer. Of course, the biggest network in the world is Internet, which is a collection of networks, LANs, VANs, wireless, uh, local area networks around the world. No one person or organization, uh, of course, owns the Internet. Everyone contributes uh, to what is Internet. And again, it is a group of interconnected computer devices. And the connection method is either cable or wireless. Purpose, as we mentioned previously, sharing hardware and software resources from scanners to printers to storage uh, facilities, even uh, retrieving software license from uh, a local server. That would be one of the purpose of network. In Nodes, uh, Maze Nodes Gym scenario, it will be setting up a central storage space uh, so that uh, the personal trainer won't keep their uh, private data on their own laptop so they can actually store it safely in a central storage and possibly set up a backup which is actually part of your uh, scenario as well. In terms of what devices can be part of a network, uh, of course you have desktop, uh, laptops, such as uh, Maze Null Gym, uh, tablets, phones, uh, e-readers, gaming systems, uh, shop tills, smart fridges, <laughs> even uh, a smart washing machine uh, could be part of a network. Right. So why are network used? Uh, Again, we mentioned we can read or write data to the server. In our scenario, it would be a storage space and setting up a backup facility for personal trainers. We can uh, start accessing our data and share it uh, amongst the personal trainer. Imagine a scenario where a personal trainer will go on holiday, someone else has to take over, a member of the gym comes in, their usual personal trainer is not there, and uh, someone else has to take over. If there is no central storage space and they have taken their laptop with them by accident perhaps, 
uh, they won't be able to access and retrieve the shared files because there is no shared files, there is no central storage. But setting it up in this format, they will be able to access it. They can download data and updates uh, to computer programs. Let's say uh, they are running, uh, they, they will be running a database uh, program such as Microsoft Access. Let's say if they want to have the same exact version of Microsoft Access across the whole uh, sets of uh, laptops, they will be able to install it uh, via the network and uh, that would be setting up the programs and also set updates for the, those specific programs. It could be direct management uh, system program or again database program, spreadsheet program, any program that they have on their laptop, even uh, their of course operating system on the laptop, which presumably it will be Windows. Again, we mentioned this multiple times, they can send data to a shared printer, uh, which uh, would be much more useful than setting up a direct link to printer, which will uh, take forever. And of course, they can access the internet, they can access a, a single point internet via the, the network. And of course, they can communicate with each other if they want to share, uh, again, uh, files, videos, specifically videos, because uh, in the scenario it does mention that they are creating video tutorials for uh, their members of the gym. Right, so we have, uh, we have more than three type of networks, however, uh, for your exam you will need to only know the first three type of main type of network, which is uh, local AO network, uh, wireless local AO network, and wide area network. There is, uh, again, more than three, but those three would be the main one that you need to know for your exam. So let's look at those in detail. So first one, local area network, which uh, covers a small geographical area. It could be a classroom, it could be a hospital, it could be a uh, small factory or small gym. Uh, you need specific hardware which we will cover towards the end uh, portion of this uh, podcast. Uh, the hardware could include such as server, router, switch, cables. Right, next one and let's have a look. Wireless local area network. Uh, Again, similarly to local area network, this covers only a small uh, geographical area uh, because uh, there's uh, only a specific distance you can go away from the wireless uh, access point uh, and still maintain connectivity to your uh, access point, which in our case it would be, uh, uh, most cases it would be a router. So a wireless uh, local area network allows users to move around personal trainers to move around in the gym and be able to maintain coverage and network connections. So the last one would be wide area network, which essentially is a collection of uh, local area network and wireless local area network. So it's multiple LANs uh, across sites, uh, of organization. It could be, for instance, uh, a school with uh, multiple buildings. Every building essentially could be a local area network. Connected, all of them together would be a wide area network. Uh, and again, different sites communicate and share data. So again, imagine each building in your school as a local area network. They connect together and form a wide area network. Right, next up we have uh, network devices. So we covered uh, the basic of network, we covered uh, the, the three different type of networks, and now we get to explore different network devices to set up a network. First one, we need a network interface card. So NIC or network interface card. Uh, 
you need to have that built into every network device. You have a built-in uh, network interface card in your smartphone. You have it in your laptop. It could be the wired or wireless. And the wireless uh, option of network interface card, it's, uh, again, it's useful. Let's say it, you have an old desktop machine where you can only access it uh, with uh, wired access it to the network or connected to a network via wired connection, which is an Ethernet cable. But uh, you want to upgrade to a wireless network interface card. You can either uh, buy a standard uh, network interface card or you can buy uh, one of those uh, USB dongles and that will do the same thing as a wireless network interface card. Again, it, this device and the wired version of it allows, allows your computer device to connect to uh, internet. Majority of laptops will have uh, that built in. If they don't, for some reason, if the laptop is that old that they don't, you can use a USB dongle to connect to a wireless access point. Again, a uh, wireless network uh, interface card, PC, smartphone, and even wireless speakers will have that. Uh, apart from those two uh, devices, we will uh, setting up a network will require additional devices to connect the standalone computer to a local area network. So we have uh, your NICs. Then we need a router or switch, and modem obviously uh, is required to set up a connection to your uh, internet service provider, to your ISP. So let's look at the router and switches first. I'm going to start with the router, which uh, sends essentially data packets on their way in the best direction. So essentially, it will redirect your requests and the data that is uh, the outgoing and incoming data to your uh, network interface card and router manages that. In terms of uh, switch, essentially uh, it's a smart multi-plug adapter that only sends packets to their intended recipient. So that means that, uh, let's say, all of the laptops in the gym are connected to the switch and the switch uh, let's say one particular laptop wants to communicate with a, a very specific laptop so let's say we have about 10 personal trainers each of them of course they own a laptop uh, personal trainer a wants to connect with the personal trainer c and they want to share uh, files a switch will uh, send the data packets to their intended recipient. Uh, of course, they're using the MAC address to do that. You don't need to know what a specifically MAC address is at this uh, stage for this GCSC uh, coursework. Uh, additionally, we have, uh, of course, a modem as a network device, which converts your analog signal uh, to and from digital signal. They uh, used to use this uh, to convert uh, uh, or to use an ordinary telephone lines to connect to the internet. Of course, uh, nowadays it's rarely used. The modem nowadays uh, is a cable modem, which is essentially your hub, your uh, your talk talk box, or your talk talk hub, or your Virgin Media hub, or your uh, any other your BT hub has essentially replaced uh, modems. Again, these connects to uh, internet. The modem, the traditional ones, used to connect by a dial-up connection using ordinary telephone lines. So every time you used to connect to the internet, you used to use that particular line to connect to internet. All right, uh, let's have a look at the next slide. Uh, as mentioned previously, router uh, acts as uh, wireless access points and it will allow 
you to connect your mobile phone, your laptop to a, a, an existing network. So the gym will have uh, a router in place and uh, that is essentially the access point that each personal trainer will connect to using their uh, uh, laptops. All right. In terms of vi wireless transmission, how is uh, a wireless signal transmitted across uh, two devices or to and from a router? It usually uses a, a radio wave for its uh, communication. But uh, the problem with ra radio wave is that it is uh, susceptible to interference from other electronic devices or let's say if you have uh, multiple... Uh, Walls between your signal and the wireless signal, uh, the signal, of course, uh, it weakens. Usually, on uh, uh, from even laptops or your mobile device, you can see the how strong your uh, connectivity is. Uh, if you have three or four bars, usually you have a strong connection, and you will be able to send and receive data uh, packets without any uh, interruptions. Right, this is uh, something that is always uh, asked in uh, in exam. Uh, the benefits and drawbacks uh, or advantages and disadvantages, if you will, of uh, using a wired versus a wireless uh, signal. So, what's the difference? In terms of, uh, let's start with the wired one. Uh, obviously, it offers you a much higher bandwidth. That means it is... Uh, a lot faster connection in uh, in terms of uh, when you do your exam please say what the fastest connection enables you to do so wire transfer a wire signal will allow for higher bandwidth and faster connection which will enable the personal trainer to send and receive data much quicker of course it uh, it will have a much better security compared to wireless because uh, wireless signal could be intercepted. Uh, however, to intercept a wire signal, they have to physically tap into the wire to uh, to intercept the signal. In terms of uh, their drawback, uh, cables they look ugly, essentially, <laughs> unsightly and. There could be a, a trip hazard for the gym members. I don't think they use wired uh, uh, connections in the gym, so they probably will go for wireless just because of that factor that is uh, unsightly and, of course, the trip hazard. Not every single device will be able to connect uh, via wired signals such as uh, iPad essentially or specific very small form factor uh, factor laptop won't have a, an Ethernet port on uh, on the laptop itself so you won't be able to uh, choose wire connection anyway and because of uh, how much uh, wires and equipment is needed to set it up it could be quite expensive to set up in contrast to wireless uh, connection which is uh, essentially you buy a router you connect it to the modem that is your access point everyone can connect to it easily no wires of course is the main benefit of uh, wireless connection it is easily uh, connected to the access point or the device can easily connect to the wireless uh, access point and of course you have a freedom of moving around with your device. The personal trainer have the freedom of moving around in the gym and helping the members while staying connected to the network. Of course the connection is, uh, I wouldn't say much slower, but slower than a wire transfer. Depending on uh, the, the type of wireless uh, signal that they have and wireless access point that they have, the connectivity could be slower than wired connection of course we mentioned the uh, mentioned the interference from walls and other electronic devices before in the previous slide so that is definitely a disadvantage and of course because the data is always floating around uh, 
in the air. It could easily be intercepted by uh, an author, uh, unauthorized user. So that's essentially it. Uh, this uh, is uh, was the first part of network. The only part that is left is this uh, the network security, which I will cover in a separate video. Do subscribe if you uh, like the video. Uh, click the like button and make sure you share this uh, resource that uh, to people who who you know that uh, taking this GCSE exam in three weeks as well. Hopefully, this will uh, help them. Uh, comment below if you have any questions and uh, let me know what uh, area of your uh, exam you want me to cover and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.